welcome back to STEM at Home with CMLH. Today we're going to be using our STEM skills to build a bird's nest. We'll be using our fine motor skills, engineering skills, problem solving skills, and much more. But first, our book. At the Children's Museum at La Havre, we value literacy connections so we can draw upon our knowledge while creating. Let's go ahead and read Bird Builds a Nest by Martin Jenkins, illustrated by Richard Jones. Bird Builds a Nest by Martin Jenkins, illustrated by Richard Jones. It's a beautiful day. Bird is up early. She's got a lot to do. First, she needs some breakfast. What she wants is a nice, juicy worm. Bird pulls hard, but the worm pulls back. It's a big worm and it's strong, too strong for Bird. Ah, this one's better. It's smaller and not as strong. Delicious! Now Bird can get on with her work. She's not looking for worms now. She needs twigs, lots of twigs. This one's too heavy. It's even bigger than Bird. And so is this one. What does Bird need? All of these will do fine. Birds can carry one large twig or two medium-sized twigs or three or four small twigs, although it's hard to fit that many in her beak at once. She's building her nest. It's not quite finished though. Carefully, she pushes a twig into the side of the nest and pulls its end back out. Pushing and pulling, she gets all of the twigs in place. She works for hours, fetching and carrying, flying back and forth, pushing and pulling. Sometimes she drops a twig but it doesn't matter. She's looking for softer things now, dried grass and feathers. They're very light. She can carry lots of these at once. She tucks them into place, turning around and around, pushing with her whole body. She makes a snug little cup, smooth and soft on the inside. The nest is ready and waiting. Can you guess what it's waiting for? What do we think? Eggs, five of them speckled and beautiful and getting ready to hatch. The end. Let's get started on our activity. Let's go ahead and get started on building our bird's nest. The first thing we're gonna do is take any kind of glue, today we'll be using tacky glue, and putting it onto our plate. I started in the middle, but you can start wherever. Next, we'll take any of our materials. I'll take some Q-tips and we can break them and put them down. Remember that in our book, Bird used twigs and soft objects. While you're doing this project with your little one, you can ask your, ch your little one, what kind of things can we use and how do they feel? This is a great sensory activity. Next, I'll be taking a little bit of string and putting it down. We had these materials readily available at my house, but you can use any materials that are available at yours. Next, I'll be putting down a pom-pom. And you might wanna ask your child, why these materials? Why would they use these? And your child could respond, well, they're soft and the birds might like laying on them. As you can see, there's no right or wrong way to make a nest. Every creation that you make is your own. I'll put down one more. And here is my finished nest. Thanks for watching and make sure you tune in next week to find out how to make your very own ice block excavation. Thanks again, CMLH out.